Welcome home. Right next door to us in Soho Square, a wedding that seemed to attract quite a little notice. So many excited youngsters were there that it was the job to keep away clear to the church. Stars among the guests included Harry Fowler and Andrew Ray. Alma Cogan was another. Jimmy Edwards. Eric Sykes and Hattie Jakes. Sidney Taffler and Sid James. Everyone was there. With members of the family, Mr. and Mrs. Hicks, the bridegroom's mum and dad. The bridegroom himself, Tommy Steele, with brother Colin Hicks for best man. Press and newsreel surrounded him, and Tommy was happy to oblige in all directions. It was a great day for him. For in St. Patrick's Roman Catholic Church, he was marrying lovely Anne Donoghue, formerly a dancer at the Windmill Theatre. Pictures of the wedding ceremony were permitted. Tommy and his bride making their vows before the altar with best man Colin standing beside them. When the service was over, Mr. and Mrs. Tommy Steele knew very well that when they left the church, they'd have the fans to face. A kiss for the bride, and responding to the cameraman's insistence, he's only too happy to repeat the performance. Well, who wouldn't? Whether Tommy's fans were jealous or not, they all went crazy. The police, hard-pressed, kept their heads and their tempers even if they lost their helmets. One of them may have wondered if it was his wedding or Tommy's. And at last, the happy pair drove off the wrong way, in a one-way street, but the right way for them. The reception was at the Savoy and rather splendid. Tommy, standing beside the magnificent cake, was still his irrepressible self. He seemed to be saying, you all right, mates? The traditional wedding groups were taken, and once again the happy bride and groom proceeded to celebrate in time-honoured fashion. And very nice, too. The Lawn Tennis Championship